Hello there, uh, welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. My name is John O'Connell. Um, I'm going to teach you how to sing some Irish songs and accompany yourself on the acoustic guitar. Uh, the first song we're going to do in today's lesson, we're going to do a song called uh, Go Lassie Go. Uh, it's also known as Wild Mountain Time. Very popular song, Very you hear it a lot. Um, very very uh, well-known melody and quite a simple song simple chords and things like that so um, we're gonna play I'm gonna play it in the key of D uh, it suits my voice suits the pitch in that key and uh, you'll notice I've got a capo on the second fret um, so I'm gonna be playing a C shape so when you've got a capo on the second fret you play a C it gives you a D so we'll exp we'll exp I'll explain that a bit more after. I'll play the song for now. Oh, the summer time is coming, and the trees are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountain thyme grows around the blooming heather. Will you go? And we'll all go together to pick wild mountain thyme all around the blooming heather. Will you go, lassie, go? I will build my love a bower by the pure. And on it I will lay All the flowers of the mountain Will ye go, lassie, go And we'll all go together To pluck wild mountain thyme All around Will you go, lassie, go? If my true love won't come with me, I would surely find another to pluck wild mountain thyme all around the blooming heather. Will you go? go and we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain thyme all around the blooming heather will ye go lassie go so that's uh, go lassie go um, loads of people have sang that song um, you might have heard the Clancy Brothers, um, uh, Van Morrison sang it, Bob Dylan's even used to sing it. Uh, it's a great song. Um, it's an old one. Uh, so the way I did it there was quite um, quite basic and everything, but I think that's that's all the song sort of requires, you know. Um, I finger picked it, and in the key of D. Let me just explain that. Um, we've got a cap on number two and play a C shape, which makes it a D. Now for the um, just for the lesson, we'll just call the chords as they are as their chord shapes are. So we've got a C, an F, and there's an A minor in there as well. Okay, and they're transposed up two frets, and that's where we've got the cap on. The only reason for that is because it suits the pitch of my voice better. You might find it suits you to take the capo off or move it up a few frets. Uh, the thing is to experiment and see what suits your voice the best. Um, there's no, you can play it in any key you like. Um, there's no rules about that at all. Um, the version I'm doing, I'm just finger picking it. And it's a very basic sort of style of finger picking. I'm using my thumb 
and my first two fingers. So I'm playing the root note of each chord with my thumb and I'm just picking with my first two fingers. So I just play the root note and then skip a string and play the next two. So let's say I'm playing the C. And then for the F, just the root note and the next two strings, back to your C. And your A minor. You skip a string there as well. So you play the root and then skip a string and the next two. Very simple way of uh, finger picking, um, just straightforward, easy way. Um, so, what we'll do is I'll try uh, the first verse. Oh, the summer time is coming, and the trees are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountains. And time and grows around the bloom and heather. Will you go, Lassie? Go. So, the only things to note really there are um, the chords change quite quickly, but there's not many of them. So, once you learn the pattern, it, pretty, it doesn't vary much. So, there's just two different sort of patterns in this the verse and the chorus. So, we've just done the verse. And uh, one thing we should know is there's a little descending chord progression in there, um, which sounds nice. So it's at the end of the verse, <coughs> I'm sort of halfway through. And the wild mountain time. So you're descending from the F to the A minor, and you're doing that just by moving the root note down one fret. So. that one more time that sounds nice in the sound and the wild mountain time goes around the bloom and heather so that's worth noting and so the chorus move on to the chorus the chord progression is and we love go together to pluck wild mountain time all around the bloom and heather will you go lassie go you'll notice that the uh, descending chord progression is is contained in the chorus as well so just to recap on it <coughs> I'll uh, point out the uh, descending part there as well. And we'll all go together, here it comes, to pluck wild mountain time all around the bloom and heather. So that's a nice little uh, feature of the, uh, the chords in that song. Um, and it works well with the uh, vocal melody. There's one more thing that I, I like to do when I'm playing this song to sort of emphasize uh, chords is just I do a little strum occasionally rather than to pick. So I'll just give you an example of that. So I'll play a chorus and you'll see an occasional strum and obviously um, look out for the descending part as well. And we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain time all around the bloom and heather. Will you go, Lassie? Go. So that's worth trying to work into the uh, song just to mix it up a little bit. So um, to give you a chance to. Uh, put into practice what we've just been talking about. 
Uh, I'm going to sing the song unaccompanied, so it'd be nice if you play along um, with me. So I'll give us a count in, and then we'll, we'll go from the top. We'll do two verses, two choruses. One, two, one, two. Oh, the summer time is coming, and the trees are sweetly blooming, and the wild mountain time goes around the blooming heather. Will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together to pick wild mountain thyme all around the bloom and heather. Will you go, lassie, go? I will build my love a bower by the pure crystal fountain. Oh, and on it I will lay all the flowers of the mountain. Will you go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together to pluck wild mountain thyme all around the bloom and heather. Will you go, lassie, go? If you enjoyed learning that song with me, um, I teach 12 more Irish songs, um, different types, uh, at the website of the Online Academy of Irish Music. And the address for that is www.oaim.ie. Um, there's hundreds of lessons on there for... Uh, traditional enthusiasts of all instruments. Um, so thanks for joining me and I hope you can again. Cheers.